Hello and welcome to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Steph and today I have almost a full face of first impressions for you, including the Lucky Bunny Envy palette and she looks like this. So I'm so excited to be playing with that. And so let's jump right on in. The first product I have to try is the e.l.f. Prep and Hydrate Balm. So it's got a little cap on it, which I think is fantastic for keeping it from drying out. Twists up like this. So let's pop a bit. Ooh, feels very silky. Okay, that's not what I was expecting at all. It's got a bit of a tack to it. Well, obviously, the first impressions of a primer, you can't really... Uh, all I can really tell you at the moment is how it feels on the skin. I'm finding bits of glitter everywhere. <laughs> but all I can tell you at the moment is how it feels on the skin, and it actually feels... It's nice, it's got a really nice tack to it. It doesn't feel overly slippy. But yeah, first impressions, it feels nice. I do have a new foundation to try out. I have got the Uoma, Uoma, I don't know how you pronounce it, Uoma Say What Weightless Soft Matte Hydrating Foundation. And I have it in the colour Honey Honey T1N. So fingers crossed, it is a good match. So I'm just going to use my Real Techniques 200. I love this for foundation. It's very liquidy. Maybe we won't put it on the brush first next time. Oh, I don't know. Ooh. Oh, it's got a bit of a scent to it. It's not too strong. It does feel very lightweight. Right, you do need to shake this bottle well. <laughs> um, otherwise it's, uh, it doesn't mix up properly and you get quite a, a runny consistency that kind of sprays everywhere. Let's drag this down the neck. I don't think the uh, colour's too bad. It might be a little, a little dark for me, but we can work with this as long as it doesn't oxidise. We're going to be all right. Let's have a look at how it sits. Well, it definitely looks like skin. It's got quite a dewy. No, I definitely wouldn't say this was matte. It's definitely the hydrating. Hydrating, definitely. Well, right, it doesn't really appear to be oxidising, which is very good considering i've already got a shade that is too dark luckily not by too much so so far i'm liking the application right i don't have a new concealer to try so i'm just going to use my catrice true skin it's a high cover concealer i really like this one it does have um quite a strong scent but I enjoy it <laughs> um, but yeah if you don't like your products to have quite a strong smell you're not going to enjoy this at all I don't think I do really like this uh, concealer not only does it not crease under the eyes but it doesn't dry down straight away so it gives you time to to work with it before before it sets down uh, completely although I still go in with powder because my skin is oily and as I recently found out it is oily and dehydrated which I wasn't aware oily skin could get dehydrated so uh, yeah since I have been using a bit I've changed up my skincare routine and I've added in niacinamide. Um, I've been using that for quite a while now. That's for mainly for my acne and the pores. Um, but I've also added in hyaluronic acid, vitamin C, um, reservatrol and ferulic acid. Um, but yeah, I've added in quite a 
quite a lot. If you want to know um, what products I use for skincare, then let me know in the description box below. Because, uh, I'd be happy to make a video um, all about that, my morning and evening skincare routines, but only if it's what you guys want. Yeah, this is definitely not a matte foundation at all. It does look really nice on the skin though, I will give it that. Um, I don't have a new cream contour, so I'm just going to be using my So Su contour stick in Cool. Yep, Cool. <laughs> Um, oh crikey, yeah, I'm just going to pop a bit of that on, get some shape to my face, yeah, definitely not a matte foundation, definitely a dewy one, but I, I like the way it looks, so next is a new product to try, I have tried this in another shade, but this is the e.l.f. monochromatic multi stick, and this shade is glimmering guava, so we are going to give this a go. I'm just going to use my Spectrum BO1. Okay. So I'm... Oh, wow. That's got some pigment. I wasn't expecting that. The other one seems more sheer. Oh. I don't mind that, though, because uh, as I learnt with the other one, you do need to go in a bit heavier with the cream ones for them to show up through the powder, that is definitely showing up. Okay. <laughs> yep, she's definitely there. But I am not mad at that. That is a beautiful cream blush. bit there yes yeah, so it is okay to go in a bit heavier with the cream ones uh, like I said I found out last time because we want it to show up through the powder but wow that one's very there <laughs> I'm loving the color though I am loving the color we are looking a little bit like a clown at the moment but I promise you that will settle down once the powder is on well i do have a new powder to try and it is the opv beauty translucent it's a loose setting powder translucent so i'm first going to gently set under my eyes please don't be a heavy powder <laughs> oh okay i seem to be having quite good luck with powders recently I'm just going to set with my smaller brush. It's just a, um, what is it? A highlight glow blush? Bleh. A highlight glow brush from Moda. So I just want to set all of the, around my nose, my T-zone, just where I need the extra setting. As like I said, this does look very uh, very dewy the foundation well it's definitely not so far making anything look cakey it's just setting it really nicely you can probably see by this part compared to here it just t takes that shine away so it's matte but skin looking skin looking looks like skin Okay, and then using my big fluffy powder brush, a Spectrum AO1, it's from the Cruella de Vil range. I'm just going to take a bit on that and just set the rest of my face. Look at how that blush is showing up through the powder. I'm definitely liking that. I do have a powder blush to go in with as well, so we might go a little crazy today, but that's okay. Hmm, yeah, that powder, so far, I'm really enjoying my base. Hmm, I'm just going to nip off, pop on my brows, because they take ages and it's boring to watch, so I'll get that done and then be back with you. I don't have new brow products, so I went in with the LA Girl brow pomade in dark brown 
and the Ico London Brow Liner in Medium. And while I was at it, I primed my eyes because again, I don't have a new eye primer. So I've used the ABH eye primer as pretty much always. It's uh, fantastic. I love it. So now we get to play with this beauty, the Envy palette from Lucky Bunny. I have been dying to try Lucky Bunny Cosmetics. It's an Australian indie brand. Um, a few of my friends absolutely rave about Lucky Bunny Cosmetics. Um, for example, Nikki Raven, Makeup by Anki. So I have high hopes. Right, so just taking a Zoeva 231 Luxe Petite Crease, I am going to, I am going to dig into Chloe, this beautiful bright green matte here. There's not a mirror in the palette, which I don't mind because I have mirrors. Um, so let's see, oh, this. So I'm just first going to place the colour down because um, I do want the the pigment but this is a beautiful colour. Wow. I am loving this colour. Look at that. I'm just going to bring that under a bit just to uh, make sure I've got the the shape that I want. I am trying a rounded look rather than a winged out look today just because I fancied a change. I'm just going to fluff the edges slightly just to make it easier to blend the next colour on. Look at that. What a beautiful colour. Right, and then next I'm going to use my Jessup 227 Luxe Soft Definer and I'm going to dip into a little bit of Trinity, which is this slightly lighter matte there and just with a little bit, I'm just going like half on, half off. Or as Katie says, 50% on and 50% off. See, Katie, I do listen to you, lovely. <laughs> this is beautiful. Look at that. So next, using my Spectrum A12, I am going to dip into Jade, this deep matte green up here darker, deeper, um, and I'm just going to use that to deepen up the outer V. Ooh. Oh, that's a colour. I'm just going to drag it into the crease a little bit. Oh, look at that. Whilst I think... Uh, Blacks are quite nice to use for deepening. I do love it when you're using, when you're not wanting to lose the colour and you've got the much deeper matte of the same colour. Oh, look at that. I just think it just looks that much more seamless when you blend them in. Oh, wow. And just bringing that just a little bit onto the outer part of the lower lash line there. There is a bit of kick up, but like uh, I always say, I don't mind that at all. Um, especially not when you have eyeshadows that perform this beautifully. I'm just dipping in a bit more to Chloe, which is the, the mid green that we used first, um, just to assist with that blend so beautiful I've really blown that out under the eyes and then back in with Jade the deepest green just to uh, bring that back a bit I think we kind of blended it away 
Oh, look how easy these are blending together. I'm loving these eyeshadows. I can completely see what the uh, fuss is about, especially with these mattes. Obviously, I haven't tried any of the shimmers yet, but wow. Just look at that blend. They are beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. So I'm gonna quickly pop on some NYX Glitter Primer and then come back to carry on with you. Right, Glitter Primer on. So I'm first going to go into Dallas this shimmer here, the darker one, um, using this flat brush from Miali Beauty. If you can see that. And I'm going to just place that one. Ooh, crikey, it picks up well. I'm just going to place that one right on the outer edge there, just as our kind of transition into the mattes right on the edge. Oh, look at that. Wow. So I'm keeping it at a diagonal. I think that doing it this way suits my eye shape better. Oh, look at that. Okay, beautiful. And then next, using my so we have a 234 Luxe Smoky Shader. I'm going to dip into Roxy, which is this beautiful shimmer green here. And this one is going to go over, this one's going to go next to the uh, darker one. Oh, look at that. These shimmers are beautiful. Okay, completely, I, I get it. I get the hype. Look at that. Wow. They've just completely blended into each other, these shimmers with no effort at all. I have zero fallout from all of these shadows I've used so far zero fallout you can't ask for better than that can you okay so going in with this little flat brush here from the morphe M -M -M mitchell collection i am going to dip into chastity which is this beautiful brighter green there and this one is going to go everywhere that we've left open on the inner part there Oh. Wow, this is beautiful, and again, it's just melting into the Shimmer next to it, look at that. Just no effort at all. This has got to be one of the easiest formulas I have worked with. Wow, look at that. Wow. I'm just going to pop a little bit of NYX glitter primer on the inner corners there. Just squeeze a bit on the back of my hand there. Um, just to uh, give the inner corner shimmer something to stick to. I just want it to really stand out. And just bring that under a little bit. Okay, so going in with my Zoeva 237 Detail Shader, just this little flat brush there, I'm going to dip into Crystal, which is this really beautiful kind of silvery white shimmer. Look at that. Wow. Look at that shine. Again, just gently dragging it up to blend it into the upper there. I'm so impressed with how that is looking so far. 
I'm just going to nip off and finish my eyes and then we'll be back to continue with blush and lips. So don't go anywhere. Okay, so before we continue, I'll just let you know what I have popped on. So the lashes I've got on are from Artitude Cosmetics. They are the Style Doll. Um, I know that she is bringing out all new eyelashes very soon. So uh, keep your eye out there. The mascara is the Barry M. That's how I roll. Same as usual. The eyeliner is the Artitude Cosmetics Catitude Liner and Lash Adhesive in One. I love this. It makes life so easy. And in my waterline, um, I've tried this one out for the first time. It's the Catrice Cosmetics 18 Hour Colour and Contour Eye Pencil. And that is in the shade Bride Lavender. So uh, that's what I have in my waterline. So let's move on to blush. So this is a new blush to me, but not a new formula because it is from Pout and Shout. And this one here is Sensitive Sally. And Sensitive Sally is this beautiful orange. So let's get her on my cheeks very pigmented i'm used to that that is the formula for pelt and show it is very pigmented so you do need to go in with a light hand if you're not wanting ott i quite like ott and so we are putting quite a bit on look at that color okay Pout and shout, you've done it again. These blushes are just amazing. I honestly don't use any other blushes now. I just use these because they are so beautiful. Oh, wow, look at that colour. That is such a stunning blusher absolutely gorgeous so that is sensitive sally from pelt and shout another gem i'm she's just smashing it out of the park with her blushes they are beautiful the brush i was using for the blush is the spectrum ao4 i love that for blush so for highlighter i'm using the makeup by lisa highlighter in the shade pearl i love this and i think this is going to go beautifully with uh, everything else. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. Look at that. That is beautiful. So because I wasn't sure on which highlighter I would be using, which would go with the look, I didn't do my brow bone highlight. Um, but now I have got this far, I want to go in with Crystal, the same colour that they used for the inner corner highlight. So I'm just going to take a touch of that and just pop that right up there under the brow, just in the highest point there. Look at that. So it just lifts that brow and oh, look at that. So for lipstick, I have a few options, or I had a few options, but I think I'm going to go with the Lime Crime Velveteens in the shade Cement. I think it's going to go, it's a grey. Okay, so this is the finished look. What do you think? I'm loving this lip colour with the eye look. I think it goes perfectly. It's a really beautiful grey. Odd to say that, beautiful grey. <laughs> but it really goes, I really like it. Um, so let's have a chat about first impressions of some of these products. So the first one, the e.l.f. Prep and Hydrate Balm. Um, it seems really nice. The... Uh, foundation went on nice over top of it can't really say much else at the moment but very first impression yeah I, I quite like it not bad so the foundation the Roma say what um 
I don't agree with the claim that it's a soft matte. Um, it looked really dewy on my skin. However, it looked beautiful. It looks like skin. Um, the shade is slightly dark for me, but I think we've made it work. So yeah, first impressions. I'm going to keep playing with it and I'll let you know. But yeah, so far I quite like it. It's got quite good coverage. So yeah. Um, next up, the powder. The OPV Beauty powder. Again, really, really nice product. Um, very first impressions. It's finely milled. It goes on beautifully. It did mattify my skin without making it flat. Um, so yeah, I'll keep on using this and uh, I'll let you know down the line what I think of it. But first impressions, I like it. Next up is the e.l.f. Monochromatic Multi Stick, um, where I have tried the formula before because I do have the peony one, um, but this one is Glimmering Guava. This is beautiful. The colour is stunning. It showed up through the powder beautifully. I really like it. It blended on really nice without taking off my foundation, which is a must. So yeah, I'm going to keep playing with that, but again, first impressions, I really like it. Next up is the blush from Pout and Shout, Sensitive Sally. This is beautiful. I am not surprised that I love it because I have loved all of the blushes I've tried so far. Um, so this is the fourth blush that I've tried from Pout and Shout. I do have another two to try out, which uh, you will be seeing very soon, I'm sure. But again, this formula is absolutely amazing. I cannot recommend these blushes enough. And Pout and Shout is a very, very new indie brand. At the moment, only on Instagram. She works so hard and it pays off. Being her first products, amazing. Absolutely amazing. So go check her out because I, I'm in love with all the blushes. As if you watch my channel, you will already know. So next up is the Catrice 18 hour contour, colour and contour eye pencil in Bride Lavender. It's, it's all right, it's quite creamy. Um, I did find that it was more difficult to layer than the Essence ones, um, but that may be because it is more creamy and I tried to over layer. Um, but I think it looks nice and I thought the colour went with uh, the eye look perfectly and I really wanted to try the formula. Um, so first impressions, it's it's okay, it's all right. I wouldn't say that so far I prefer it over my Essence ones yet, but we'll keep trying and see how we get on. So the lashes are new to me. I've tried a few pairs of Artitude Cosmetics lashes and loved them. Um, these are no exception. These are the Style Doll. I love them. They apply so easily and of course paired with the Catitude Liner and Lash Adhesive in One. It just makes the process so easy. Just takes the stress out of applying lashes. So again, I highly recommend that. So where are we at now? The lipstick, the Lime Crime Matte Velveteens in the shade Cement. Obviously the formula is a formula I know and love, so it's going to be no surprise that I love that. The colour, I, I really like this. I wasn't expecting to like it this much, because it's grey, and you think grey, dull, not at all. This looks beautiful. I love it. And finally, we are on to the Lucky Bunny Envy palette. Wow. Just wow. Firstly, that colour story, it's pretty much all green. So, of course, I was going to love that. But wow, the formula of these mattes, they just blended so beautifully. It there was just no problems whatsoever. The shimmers are stunning, absolutely stunning. I use them, of course, over a glitter primer, as I do always, but they were beautiful to work with. I am so 
desperate to try more from Lucky Bunny Cosmetics now because I have fallen in love with this formula completely and look at that how beautiful is that color story if you're a green lover you're gonna love this because uh wow <laughs> obviously there are a couple of shades that aren't green there's the more kind of gray tones and this kind of aubergine color and bambi which is more of your kind of pale transition color but i will get around to trying them all because i'm loving this this is just absolutely gorgeous so yeah i'm so happy i tried lucky bunny cosmetics now and nikki anki all the raving about it thank you because i got it and i love it so there is that so yeah i believe that is it for me for today if you have enjoyed this please give me a like thumbs up it really helps me out if you are new around here then i hope you'll consider sticking around and hitting that subscribe button I do a lot of colourful looks, I use mainly indie brands, um, so yeah, if that sounds like your kind of thing, then hit that subscribe button, and don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you don't miss the next time I upload. So, that is it. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you are all having a great day, a great evening, wherever you are and whatever you're doing. I hope you're taking care of yourselves. I will see you again very, very soon. Goodbye.